Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to do a recipe out of one of my very favorite cookbooks. It is a Mary Berry Baking Bible. If you've never watched The Great British Baking Show, she was on it the first seasons with Paul Hollywood and I can't remember, two women, Mel and Sue. It was so funny. I loved that show and I watched it all the time. My friend bought me this cookbook. He's passed away, but we used to sit and talk about <laughs> cooking all the time. This book um, tells a lot of stuff. So most of the things in it are from England, so you know they're British, but they're all basically the same except that these kids are cookies. <laughs> are cookies. And um, this one has baking terminology, which was real interesting. It has um, different other terminology. Some I've never heard of, but most of them is the same as ours. There's a temperature guide in here to know how to do our ovens um, for like theirs. They do a little different. It has all different um, categories. And it's from all over, not just, not just British. So it's really good pictures. There's so many recipes in here. So today we are going to do a lemon drizzle tray bake. Tray bake is a cake, it's not thick, it's thin, it's made with um, soft rising flour. There's not a picture of the lemon drizzle one, but there is a picture of the cherry almond one. The pictures are really good in here. So let's get started in here. First we have eight ounces of butter. Softened, of course. Okay, then we have eight ounces of caster sugar. You can buy caster sugar at the store. It's just really super fine. I sometimes make mine in the blender, but it's it's not easy. <laughs> so we want 225 grams of Castor sugar. All right. Let's leave it. And we'll pour that in there. And then we need 275 grams of um, soap rising flour. And you just mix, pour everything in one bowl. There is 275. I'm going to move this out of the way now. We're done with it. Get the flour out of the way. And I'm going to use my hand mixer. And then we need two level teaspoons of baking powder. Four large eggs, four tablespoons of milk, and the finely grated rind of two lemons. And then this also has a little glaze on top when we're done. So it's gonna be a little noisy here.
pretty well blended. You need a 12 by nine uh, tray bake or, or something that is along this, that size. And you need um, to spray it and put par parchment paper on it. into the edges. And we're gonna bake this at 325. That is US 325. I converted it from what her book said. <laughs> For about 35 to 40 minutes. And then we'll take it out, let it cool, and then we're gonna make the glaze. Still pretty warm. It's on real quick. But doesn't it look good? So I'm gonna put it on this cake plate. And I am going to turn it over. And take the pan off and fill that parchment. That looks so good. So I am going to weigh out, and if I said a while ago, measure, I mean weigh. <laughs> we are weighing um, out ingredients. So it is 175 grams of granulated sugar. And the cake needs to be warm to put this over it. it I'm set up inside and I have um, the juice of two lemons right in there a little at a time you want it kind of runny because it's gonna just be a glaze that is pretty runny there Okay, I'm gonna just pour it over. This is not one of my best things that I can do. I'm not good at this. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pour the rest of this lemon juice in here and try to get the rest of the sugar off the sides and pour that over it. And I'm just gonna kind of go over it like that. A little more on that end. And then it, when it dries and it gets cooler, it's a little crunchy on top, but it's so lemony. I can't wait to try this. It has been sitting for a while and the sugar is kind of melted into it with the lemon juice. I'm ready to cut it. How does that look? Mm, it's so good. It's so light using the um, self-rising flour. I had never used it before until I fixed some things out of Mary Berry's cookbook. You really need to try self-rising flour. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. 
you guys try it let me know what you think about it hope you like and subscribe to my channel please hit that notification bell so you can see um, all the content that I put out and I usually put out content three times a week at least see you soon